Hello there, this is Rodel. Welcome to my channel. What is the Binet's formula? How do we use it? In today's video, I will share to you the Binet's formula. So please stay tuned, I'll be right back. What is the Binet's formula? It is a formula used in finding the nth term or the missing term of the Fibonacci sequence. It was derived by the French mathematician Jacques Philippe Binet in 1843. The formula states that f sub n is equal to 1 over the square root of 5 times the quantity of 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the power of n minus the quantity of 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 raised to the power of n. Or simply, f sub n is equal to the quantity of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the power of n minus the quantity of 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the power of n all over the square root of 5. But what is a Fibonacci sequence? It is a series of numbers where each term is obtained by getting the sum of two preceding numbers starting with 1. To illustrate, the first term of a Fibonacci sequence is 1. The second term is 1 plus 0, so we still have 1. The third term is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. The fourth term is 2 plus 1, so we have 3. The fifth term is 3 plus 2, so we have 5. The sixth term is 5 plus 3, so we have 8. So on and so forth. So when do we use the Binet's formula? When we are asked to look for the nth term of a Fibonacci sequence, we can simply continue the pattern by following the rule, that is, adding the two preceding terms. For example, what is the 11th term of the Fibonacci sequence? Solution Since we already know the first six terms of the sequence, we will just continue the pattern up to the 11th term. The 7th term is 8 plus 5, so we have 13. To get the 8th term, we add 13 plus 8, so we have 21. The ninth term is 21 plus 13, so we have 34. To get the 10th term, we add 34 plus 21, so we have 55. Lastly, to get the 11th term, we add 55 plus 34, so we have 89. Therefore, the 11th term of the sequence is 89. Pretty easy, right? But how about if we are asked for a distant term? Now let us consider our second example. What is the 30th term of the Fibonacci sequence? In this case, since the problem requires a long solution and involves a very huge number, we need the help of the Binet's formula. Let us solve. So first, we identify the value of our n. In this case, since we are looking for the 30th term, our n is 30. Our unknown is the 30th term or f sub 30. Let us write the formula. It is good if we can memorize this formula. Anyway, the numbers are just being repeated and the operations are just opposites of each other, plus and minus. Now, to get the most accurate answer, we need to use a scientific calculator to be able to type in the whole operation without the need of rounding off our decimals because that would greatly affect our answer, especially when we're dealing with distant terms, say 15th term and up. To solve for the nth term, first, we substitute the value of n in the formula. So we have 30. Now, using your calculator, type 4 open parentheses, 1 plus 
square root of 5, close parenthesis, divided by 2, close parenthesis, exponent 30, close parenthesis, minus 3 open parenthesis, 1, minus square root of 5, close parenthesis, divided by 2, close parenthesis, exponent 30, 2 close parenthesis, divided by the square root of 5, then press enter, or the equal sign, and your calculator will display this value. We simply round it off to the nearest whole number. Therefore, the 30th term of the Fibonacci sequence is 832,040. Now, let us have one more example for you to be able to familiarize the formula using your calculator. What is the 50th term of the Fibonacci sequence? Solution First, we determine the value of our n. So our n is 50. Our goal, therefore, is to find the 50th term or f sub 50. Write the formula. Substitute the value of our n. Again, using your calculator, type for open parenthesis 1 plus square root of 5 close parenthesis divided by 2 close parenthesis exponent 50 close parenthesis minus 3 open parenthesis 1 minus square root of 5 close parenthesis divided by 2 close parenthesis exponent 50 2 close parenthesis divided by square root of 5 then press enter or the equal sign and your calculator will display this value. Now, since it is already a whole number, there's no need for us to round off. Therefore, the 50th term of the Fibonacci sequence is 12,586,269,025. So that's it. That's how we use the Binet's formula. It is very easy to use. Simply substitute the value of n to the formula, and then follow the sequence in your calculator. Presto! You already have your answer. If your answer has decimals, you simply round it off to the whole numbers. Shout out to my former student, Eric Jan Epe, who requested me to do this tutorial video. I hope this video was helpful to you and your classmates. Now, to all who are still new to my channel, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so that you'll be updated on my next uploaded video. Until next time, bye!